How to create custom URL redirects. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in a super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video helped you out, please let me know in the comments or simply just leave a like. Then I also know that this video helped you out as well. So what I'm going to show you guys right now is the custom URL redirects. Now, you probably already know what this is, but Obviously, when you, for example, have an old link and you need to redirect it to the new URL, then you can easily do that by adding custom URL redirects. So when people click, for example, by accident on the old link or somewhere they find your old link, then they'll automatically get redirected to the new link. So what I'm going to do is simply go to online store over here and we need to go to navigation. Once navigation loads up um, here, you can see view URL redirects. That's where we want to click on. And here we can uh, have two options so we can import URL redirects, maybe from your previous website. Or if you have a huge website with uh, where you need to redirect a lot of links, what you can do is create an Excel spreadsheet or use Google Sheets and then do it all uh, uh, fill it all in there and then automatically import it here. That's what I'm going to show you guys in a bit. But right now, I'm first going to show you guys the regular manual way. So here I'm going to click on create URL redirect. And if you create or if you click on this, you will get this option. And here you can do it manually one by one. So like I said, if you have a bunch of URL redirects, it might be better to just do it in a spreadsheet, which I'm going to show you guys um, in a bit, but here we can see redirect from. So the original URL that you like to forward visitors from. So usually there's an old page, blah, blah, blah. So here's the redirect to the new URL that visitors should be forwarded to. So here, let's say here you can already see an option. I personally do not have any uh, link uh, URLs I need to redirect. But let's say you have something like if you need Shopify, but you're not sure yet, or you're already enjoying Shopify, or you know somebody that needs Shopify, and what you can do is bring your ideas to life for one euro per month. So what you can do is go to the link in the description or the pinned comment under this YouTube video and sign up for fr a free trial and enjoy your first month for one euro. So Grab the deal now before it is gone. And yeah, good luck with your store. Let's say your previous link would be uh, forward slash gloves slash sale, but you want to redirect it to your new link and your new link might be forward slash collection slash gloves slash sale. Then if that is the case, then simply just click on save redirect. And now we have saved this and here we can also uh, delete it if you would, uh, if you want to. But and we can also here click on create another, and then we immediately just keep on going. But now when we go back um, and, and, and then now click here on view URL redirects, we can see all of the different URL redirects. So once again, um, here we can also import it and we can actually also export it as well. Um, but now I'm going to show you guys how to import a bunch of URL redirects at once. So I went ahead and created this quick spreadsheet. And let's say this is all of the redirects you want to have. Then what you can do is immediately add this to Shopify. So in order for this to work, simply just create or just in the first column, do redirect from and then the second one redirect to and then just put all of your links under there. Then what we need to do is click on file. We need to click on download and we need to save it as a .csv file. So I'm going to do that and I have now downloaded it right over here. So now we can go back to Shopify and here we can import our URL redirects. So I'm going to click on there. Here, click on add file. Go to downloads in this case, then here, click on open. And then here we go, we're going to click on upload file. So then we'll just have to wait for this to quickly load. And here we can see all of the um, uh, redirects we have added over here. So I'm going to click on import. We'll just have to wait for this to load. And then we're pretty much done. And there we go. We can see immediately just like that with a bunch of clicks. We have imported all six of these redirects um, from our spreadsheet. 
So these are two ways on how to create custom URL redirects in Shopify.